Hello guys, welcome to Battle Builders Results. This will be a pretty long video, so strap in, have your snacks, um, or don't, you do whatever you want. But, the first theme that we had was villains, which is kind of cool, we had a theme of plane carousel. And the person that this, or the Lyrak, uh, Lyrak, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, did this really cool build called Riddler's Revolving Rage. Um, and it's pretty cool. Love the little, like, ambulance, like, a little city, uh, build here. And I love the, like, sort of diagonals with the buildings here. It's really cool. Um, and I really like how you incorporated, like, different parts of the city into this. Um, it looks really cool. Um, and the back is really clean as well. Um, it's just a really cool build. I really like the colors and everything. Um, if we take a look at it at night, it looks very nice. I think I would change a few lightings, maybe like get a more, a more street lights in here. Um, but still looks very nice. I love the lighting, the strobe lighting in here. Um, as it goes through, looks awesome. Um, yeah, it, it's a really cool build. Uh, so, well done, Lyrek. Um, so let's kind of move on to the next build. Next we have here is the boys' uh, submission. Um, I think it is at least. Yes, it is. Um, and it looks awesome. It's like a swamp. I think it's supposed to be. I don't know what it's supposed to be exactly. I, I think it's like some uh, swamp monster or something. But either way, it looks really cool. I love the little angry tree in here. Yeah, it looks awesome, and I love how you sort of did the tree here. These are using little bushes and everything. Um, looks really nice. Looks like a really good mangrove tree. Um, would have been really cool if maybe you incorporated more of the roots into the build, if that makes sense. Maybe roots coming out from this massive tree, right? Um, but otherwise, it looks really cool. really like how you accomplished it. Um, and these buildings are really cute. really like this use of the pirate uh, set here. Um, and a nice little chimney with a little chair, really cute, really cool set piece. And you got a little pot there. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of, like, little cool details in here, it's really cool. Uh, really nice, uh, build. Um, let's take a look at it at night. Um, nothing too crazy, just some purple and some green. Um, but otherwise, it looks pretty good, so yeah. Well done, here's the boy. Let's go ahead and move on to is build now. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so this has got to be mm, probably one of my favorite builds in this uh, competition so far. Um, honestly, it is just so clean and so well done. And I love the way that you made it look cartoony with the clouds and like it, it just feels so good. Um, this feels like something that would, you would find at like Universal or something. Um, just like the style to make it look co uh, like comic-like, um, but you know, still attached to real life is really cool. I love these bullet holes you did going throughout the entire build with the Red Baron up here, which has this really cool little guy in it, and then Snoopy on the other one, which I love, and I love how it has bullet holes through it as well. Um, it's just, just such a great and amazing build. I love this area back here as well, this little set area. Um, as backstage, um, yeah, it just looks absolutely gorgeous, and I just absolutely adore this build. Um, just, just every little bit of the detail is just so good, it's so awesome. Absolutely love it, Kona. Keep up the good work, because this is, like, amazing. This is what I aspire to be, you know? Um, really great build. So, yeah, let's take a look at it at night, let's see how good it is. Um, you got some pretty good lighting up here, and some simple, uh, sky lighting in the back here. Uh, but nothing too crazy, um, but I like it nonetheless. It looks awesome. Um, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and move on to Florian. Alright, next we have Florian Plax, which is a Moana build. I uh, really love this. This is gorgeous. Um, love how you put the build on top with the gold spiraling around and like, all the gold and everything. But I really like the way you made them. It's super cool. Looks really awesome. I love this little skeleton cage that you find in it in the movie. 
Um, and a lot of the use of the way they're doing the gold is using like these little cubes to get that different like gold look. Uh, that's really clever. Um, but yeah, it looks really awesome. I really like the way that you made it look like the sea uh, build. And if we take a look at it at night, got some really beautiful lighting here with the purple underlay and the cyan uh, overlit. Uh, it looks really good. Um, so yeah, well done, Florian. Um, good job. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to group two now. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so you have amateur mini makers, um, which looks really nice. I like the little, like, hue area, or the... I don't know what this is. Oh, is these, like, like shooting ranges? I think these are shooting ranges. I don't know what it is supposed to be. Um, but it looks kind of cool. Oh, I really like it. Uh, they got tons of guns for women. Maybe she's... Born with it? Maybe it's done. I can't read entirely what that says. Got obesity cafe. <laughs> America land. Search engine. Give us data. Guns are accessible. Handicap gun. Pietro me. False news. 40 sports. Interesting. This is an interesting take on the sports um, theme. Um, and it looks really nice. It's like a 4th of July sort of festival, I assume. Um, but yeah, it's kind of interesting. Let's take a look at it at night. The fireworks are kind of cool. Uh, I think it is supposed to be 4th of July. Um, and yeah, it's really nice. Um, I would suggest maybe adding a little bit more detail in. Uh, I think that would have been able to space your build a little bit more. Um, be some buildings in here. Uh, maybe even hiding knees. I know you were trying to go for a carnival look. Maybe you could have had like a fake flat ride in the back here. Um, but either way, it looks really nice. Uh, so let's go to move on to the next build. Alright, next we have Astrotron's build. Um, with the really beautiful little like air racing thing. Um, it looks awesome. Love this little like maintenance barn over here with some model airplanes. And it's really cool and cute. Um... Like the little model airplane throughout the whole thing. I really like this gift shop. It's actually really cute. Um, yeah, that's super cute. And then the airplane connected in to the rest of the stuff as well. And the air racing cones. Um, and then coming down here, looks like you got like a little like gas fuel tank, I think. Um, got a little air traffic control here. And then these clouds are really beautiful. I really love the use of the whipped cream there. Astro, that's a really clever use of it. Um, and with the airplane, it's coming around there, it's really nice. Um, yeah, it's really nice. I really love how you put uh, the floor underneath for this build. It looks really clean and nice. Um, yeah, very well done, Astrotron. Really like this. Um, so yeah, well done. Uh, let's take a look at it at night. Um, yeah, nothing too special. Uh, I would have maybe toned down the white lighting a bit. Or the, yeah, white lighting might be a bit too much. Add in, you know, maybe a little bit of blue lighting. Um, but otherwise, it looks really nice. Really like the flashing lights and everything. Um, it, it feels almost too overwhelmingly, like, white lighting. Um, but that's just a style choice, so I definitely appreciate either way. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next build, which is Solrex. Alright, so now we have Solric's build here. Um, I think this is supposed to be like sort of a... Uh... Soccer slash baseball field. I can't really tell. I don't know what these poles are, because I don't remember baseball having them. I don't know exactly. It is super cool though. Either way, um, it looks really awesome. I love this little dome structure and the... Baseball slash soccer slash football slash rugby slash lacrosse field looks awesome. Um, and I love this little area up here where people can chill out. Um, where all the board members maybe go and all like the fancy people go. And then you got some nice little seating over on this side. Um, but yeah, it looks like a really nice build. Really like the use of the net. Uh, that's a clever use um, there. And I really like that. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Really cool build there. Um, so, yeah. Really like what you're doing, Sorik. So, yeah, keep it up. It looks like a really nice tropical build. 
Um, and if we take a look at it at nighttime, definitely feels like a baseball pitch lighting. Um, but yeah, well done, Solrit. Well done. All right. So now we have Bieber's build at all. Oh my gosh. I am going to gush over this because this is just so well done and so perfect. For people who don't know what this is, this is Wii Sports Resort, the connection to sports. Um, and there is this air uh, flying game in it um, that I used to play a lot. And basically you go across this all whole island, Woohoo Island. And you basically like discover like these forests and castles and like bridges. And then I'll tell you something about it. I'll be like, this is the bridge that's used for ninja fighting or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, or like these are the old temples of, you know, and then you could like go in like different time zones and like all these kind of stuff. Um, and it's just so cool. I really love it. The style is awesome. I love how you took the castle from Woohoo. Um, and then you also got these little info points. Um, across the whole thing. Um, would have been really cool, uh, if you could, uh, if you were able to. I think it is still really cool, cleanly. Um, but if you had, like, a plane flying by and you had this one, like, sort of, like, expanding out, like, it was about to say something info-wise. Um, if they, you know what I mean, like, the ring effect when you get near it. Um, I think that would have been really cool if you had some planes flying. Uh, but either way, it looks awesome. All these little tunnels and the caves it goes under. Um... Yeah, always love flying through that. So this is definitely a, another favorite of mine uh, for this theme. It's just so well done and it looks awesome. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at it at night. All right, and yeah, it looks really nice. Love the blue lighting up here and the orange lighting in there. Um, I would suggest maybe a little bit more lighting throughout these rocks, but either way, it looks really nice. Um, yeah, it, it looks awesome. Really cool build, uh, Bibris. I am ecstatic that you built this. So, yeah, this is awesome. Absolutely love it. So, yeah, keep it up. Moving on to the next one, we have, uh, Dan or Kong Cake. Alright, so we got Kong Cakes' submission, which is, mm, sports? You got a sports pitch? Yeah, you do. Um, and it's got these really cool shoes tied up, uh, on the soccer pitch. Um, with football and uh, got a bunch of stuff in here. It looks really cool. Um, yeah, I, I love the little kite flying. This little playground over here that you made um, looks awesome. The you know the plane in the middle here. Um, yeah, I just love the whole like tree and ambiance of this area. It looks awesome. Um, and if we take a look at it at night, um, still looks awesome. Got some really nice street lights in here. Um, feels a bit gloomy, uh, but still very nice. Um, maybe missing a street light there. Um, but otherwise, a really nice build. Really like what you did here. Uh, Kong Capes. So, let's go to move on to um, group 3, which was African theme. Alright, so we have Alpine Meeples, which I think honestly resembles the most like Robo Flamingo's builds. Uh, I know this sounds crazy, but this really reminds me of how Robo Flamingo built. Um, and that's a massive compliment. Um, I'm gonna say that. Um, it, it, he's, I don't know, this is amazing. I really love how the plane is flying out of the trees there. Um, and you got, like, these little Kilimanjaro, like, embark on the lifetime. And all this, like, really cool, like, like realistic ride stuff. Um, this is just such a cool build. This makes me feel like I am in, uh, Disney. Uh, like, actually, like, this is well done. Uh, this is insane. I don't know where you came from, because this is, like, completely taking me by surprise. Like, this stuff is impressive. Like, this is cool. I don't know how you did it. I think it's through image signs, and you just took the exact same color. That must be it, because this is oppressive. Uh-oh, my computer is not liking this. It is lagging. Whoops, there we go. Alright, six now. Um, but yeah, it is absolutely impressive. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It is so cool. I love it so much. Uh, this is honestly gonna be one of my favorite African builds. Um from this, if I had to choose, probably this one. Um, just the, the mix between realism 
and just like, I don't know, it's just so well done, like, actually. I hope you keep, like, building, even if it's not even Battle of the Builders, I'd love to see whatever you build next, because I'm excited. Uh, based on what I've, just what I've seen here, uh, this is amazing. Like, this is actually amazing. Um, and the night lighting is just what Robo would do, and it looks great. Like, it looks really nice. Um, the mix between the pink and the cyan, and it mixes in well with the lot lamp post. It's just so perfect. Um, really good job, Alpine. Uh, this is great. Uh, really, really love this. This really is cool. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's kind of move on to the next one then. Uh, yeah. Alright, so now we have Mr. Units build. And this one was kind of an interesting take. It's more of like maybe a modern uh, African. Um, this reminds me of Iron Gwazi's inch or like thing. Um, it's kind of cool. I really like it. Um, and you got these really cool like sort of elevations and height here. I um, really love this like whole net thing and the cave back here with all the trees. Um, looks really pretty and I really like how it turned out. Um, it looks really awesome. Um, love the waterfalls and little bridges across everywhere. Um, it just, it's so unique. Um, and I don't know, it looks awesome. It, it really does. It's super cool. I love the little use of like plates up here and like little cups with like straws in them. Um, that's really clever. You got some bedrooms in here, would be for hotels. Um, and you got, I think these are just all shelf planks, I think. Um, but it is very cool, and yeah, and just using like the different shapes and everything, um, you get some really cool stuff, although these ketchup and mustard bottles are all floating, so if we want to talk about that, uh, we probably should. Um, next time, don't let the ghost get into your ketchup bottles. Um, but yeah, really awesome job, so, yeah, uh, well done, uh, let's take a look at a night. And yeah, it looks very nice. I personally, I think it's too much yellow. Um, maybe tone back the yellow. Uh, but otherwise, I think it looks really nice. It just feels overwhelmingly yellow. Um, but if that's what you're going for, then all by all means, keep on going at it. Um, looks nice either way. So yeah, let's gonna move on to the next builder. So we have. Uh, Das Makers, uh, build here, and I really love the green and white throughout here, the, the coloring is kind of cool. Um, it reminds me of Arabia? I don't know if that was your intention, but yeah. Um, we got this really cool Egyptian entrance here, going all the way across. Looks like you got a Yuok the Mummy. Um, and it actually kind of looks like, uh, you sort of did something with, uh, 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 Pierre did, Pierre Yano. Uh, did back in that build, which was really cool. And I really liked the thing here, uh, with the gold and everything. Um, and yeah, it looks awesome. Uh, yeah, and the gold and everything just collapsing in. Um, looks awesome. Uh, there's not too much to say about this. Reminds me of the mummy. Um, oh, I pushed the nighttime thing and I didn't go nighttime, so that was cool. Um, yeah, very nice lighting. I love the reds and yellows and white. I mean, a little bit too much white there, but it looks very nice and really well put together. I really like that. Um, I will say, yeah, it is all very nicely done. So, yeah, I'm gonna move on to the last member of the African theme. So let's kind of do that. All right, so here we have Ed's build, which is absolutely nuts. Um, he did sadly get disqualified because he used water on the outside. But either way, it looks really nice. Um, and I really love this whole build. It looks really clean and awesome. Um, yeah, I love the foliage all the way around. It somehow looks really different in any part you look at, even though it's literally the same like wall piece uh that's really brilliantly done um and it looks great the whole thing looks amazing um so yeah either way well done ed uh good job um what a 
maybe would like to see maybe the, you know the playing carousel in there instead of you know fully hiding it uh but it's still very nice build uh, ed and yeah well done uh building that let's go to move on to the arabian themes here we have redfield's build which is honestly a take that i was gonna do on mine but i didn't have the time uh, but it looks really cool, you got that cool area, the City of Brass, you got these sort of Aladdin themed stuff down here, I guess. Um, with the minecarts and stuff, really like that. Uh, it's very cool with the water buckets and everything. Um, couple guys down there, sad. Um, and you got some really cool, like, tarmac and... It's just really cool. Really love all the architecture in here and everything. Um, looks really nice. I really like how you sort of incorporated it into the sky. Um, that's really cool. I don't think I've seen anyone do that. So that is a really cool idea. Um, yeah, I really love that. So, take a look at, at that. If we can. And you got this little moon in the background. Um, and then down below, you got some really, really nice lighting in here. Um, looks awesome with the blue and the purples, and you got some very nice yellows in here. And, you know, nothing in the top. I really like that. That's really cleanly done, Redfield. Um, and I really like uh, that build. Uh, so yeah. Well done on that submission. Um, so yeah. Let's go to move on to the next one, which is Eric. Alright, so we have Eric's build here. Um, and this one looks absolutely amazing. Uh, really love this one. Um, yeah, it looks awesome. I love this custom plane you did. And this little, like, little shop. And whole massive building right here. Just covering the bridge and everything. Uh, and the foliage looks beautiful. Um, and with it all on top of the rocks, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. All the little pieces with the breeze blocks and everything. Um really awesomely done uh yeah this is just an amazing build you do got a little sphere light in there um got some sort of weird curves in here as well um but otherwise uh looks really nice um <laughs> and yeah so let's take a look at it at night got some really good lighting in here the pinks and the oranges and yellows all the way up and the cyan lighting looks awesome as well um yeah that that is awesome i really like that um so yeah really like this so yeah well done eric and let's go to move on to addison's build now all right so we have addison's build which honestly i think is super cool really like the use of the fences here to give extra detail um that's brilliant uh first off and the different colorings and all throughout here is really brilliant and i love the whole thing here that's really pretty um and yeah this whole marketplace is just gorgeous i don't know addison you keep impressing me you came out of nowhere and then you just built like insanely cool stuff so keep at it addison like honestly you're so good at this game um you got some really nice dining stuff and the little grill up here love the detail uh that you even put like little like glowing things in here to make it look like there's a grill and there's grilled stuff on it like oh my god brilliant um got a little spice uh, shop and a bookstore and yeah and you got a little gift shop over there and a winery and jar place and then a fruit area and then up here you got some more bedrooms um yeah, it, it's just awesome. The detail that you put in these builds is absolutely exceptional. Uh, so, yeah, keep it up, uh, Addison. Really love what you're building. Um, so let's take a look at it at night. Um, and you got really beautiful lighting in here. It looks really nice. Love the redding, uh, red and yellow and white. Um, really fits, and it looks really good, um, I gotta say. The glow is really nice. It's a really nice glow. Um, so yeah, keep it up, Edison. Really love what you're building. Um, so let's go to move on to uh, the final build, which is by Martin. And Martin's is the Arab Spring protest, uh, which is kind of interesting. Uh, you got, you know, all this stuff in here. Um, 
But yeah, it looks really nice. You got all this, you know, cool stuff. Um, definitely completely obliterates my computer, though. Um, but otherwise, it looks pretty nice. It looks really cool. Love the style of the buildings here. And, like, you know, Egypt. You got some nice interiors as well. Got some floating sinks, though. Um, but otherwise, it looks really nice. Uh, I really like what you did here. Um, using a lot of box room stuff. Uh, but yeah. Uh, really nice build, Marnet. Um, and the lighting is very nice as well. Love the little lights on the uh, plane as well. Um, so yeah. Nice build, Marnet. And with that, the final winners... Well, the quarterfinal. Uh, which is going to be, for quarterfinal one, it will be Lyrak, who is passed on, and Bibris, from the second round, or the second group, are gonna pass on and go first head-to-head. -head. For the quarterfinal two, it's gonna be, drumroll, Estrotron and Kona. For quarterfinal three, it is gonna be... Mr. Unit and Addison. And then for quarterfinal four. Drum roll. It will be Eric. And with a certified chef kiss from me. Alpine Meeple. Um and that is the certified chef kiss. Uh, Alpine Meeple grabs my certified chef kiss <laughs> from my thing. Uh, you know, you always gotta, that's the real win here, uh, if you get that. Um, but yeah, it is amazing builds that everyone made. Um, so with that, thank you guys for watching, and hop in a voice chat to figure out what is gonna be the ride and theme. What could it be? I don't know. Uh, I don't know what your groups could be either, even though I just said them. Alright, bye.